high center field. Beltron on the run, out toward Towles Hill, goes up the hill, and he makes the catch as he falls to the ground on the top of Towles Hill. Carlos Beltron. Hi, everybody. This is the Baseball Hut. The amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one. The people's champion, your host. Of and, of course, this is the Baseball Hut. And please like this video and let me know what you think about this video. The Mets magic number. And, of course, send me super thanks. Mets magic number is now down to five. When I posted the, vid did the video last night, it was at six. Any Met wins or San Diego Padre losses, the Mets will clinch a playoff spot. So it is currently at five. The San Diego Padres have absolutely struggled and been very, very inconsistent since the All-Star break and have not really hit the way people have thought, especially having brought in uh, Juan Soto. So they've not done a great job. They're in Arizona. Arizona has played much better in September than they have most of the season. Uh, and Zach Gallen, I don't, Galen, I don't know if he's going to be pitching the series against the, the Padres, but... Uh, they've pitched really well with the, the, the Diamondbacks. So keep an eye on them. They play a four-game series. They lost last night. It's the Padres to the, the, the D-backs. And we need to keep an eye on that this weekend. Those are the games you got to watch because Mets have three games left with the Pirates. The Mets could potentially clinch on Sunday. If the Mets clinch on Sunday, I will come on after the game and we will have a big, we'll have a big celebration and live stream here. I, I'm gonna we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. If there is a clincher on Monday, I will be on after the game for a little bit. Whenever the Mets clinch, I'll be on after. I'll try my best. I kind of figured we were gonna see some kind of clincher in Oakland, but I don't think that's gonna happen. If the Mets, if that happens, then Mets have played very poorly. But I don't think that. So here we go. Real quick video on and discussion on Carlos Beltran. Who was at City Field last night? He was. Uh, they were talking about the Roberto Clemente night and talking about all these different recipients. and And Beltran was one of the recipients of that award. And Beltran, as you know, he's from Puerto Rico. A couple of Mets came out in support of him uh, coming back to the Mets and just being back in Major League Baseball. Uh, and that is uh, Francisco Lindor and Edwin Diaz. I have no problem with Beltran coming back to baseball. He. he he has done his time. I I didn't think he needed to be looking back on it. Uh, it was more of a thing with the well punts were annoyed that he lied to them about his role than really about what he did. I think if the Mets had felt that he because he lied to them in the uh, the interview before they hired him, I have no problem with Beltran being back with the Mets in some kind of role, either in the front office or or a coach down the line. With Buck, I, I have I take no issue with that, uh, but it was more of a well pond thing that they let him go. I had no problem with him being the manager of this team, and I know that he wants to come back into baseball, and you know, and he needs to rehabilitate himself. The best thing he could do is by coming back to baseball and coming back to the Mets in particular, and doing something in the Mets front office uh, that would be good for him. And he is up for the Hall of Fame. He's probably going to get in the Hall of Fame. Uh, he's probably going to get in the Hall of Fame as a, as a Met, um, to be honest with you. Uh, looking at his numbers and, and how great he was here, uh, I think it would be, I think that's what the Wilpons are hoping to do. Bring him in here as a manager and have all these different things they could have done with him. But because he lied to them, that kind of put the kibosh on it. But, uh, then he should come back, even the, in, the, in the front office, be a special assistant to Billy Epler, or even come back and be a, a, some kind of like coach. I'd have no issue with that, you know. And maybe the Mets groom him. I will say this: I I can see Eric Chavez being the next manager after a, whenever Buck uh, decides to to hang it up. But we'll keep an eye on that. But I don't take any issue with Beltron being the man, uh, being the in the Mets front office, or being back with the Mets. Because, like I said, in all likelihood, he's going to go into all of him as a Met, uh, and his number will probably get retired. You have to retire a guy's number if he goes in the Hall of Fame as a, as a player of your team. So, we'll keep an eye on that. It was an interesting thing. I know some people have been talking about it today, and uh, hopefully you like this video, and subscribe, 
And let me know what you think about Beltron. And of course, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.